Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Happy New Year. Welcome to the first family service of the 2023 and to the January Shotsky Hoyo service. Uh, today's service will be officiated by uh, Reverend Laverne Imori, and we will begin with the uh, fruit and floral offering by the pre K through third grade class. We have Flynn Cheeks for, with the floral offering and Jaden Cruz bringing the fruit. It's oranges that he picked himself. Well, we begin this morning's service with a meditation. Hard is it to be born into human life. Now we are living it. Difficult is it to hear the teachings of the Blessed One. Now we hear it. If we do not deliver ourselves in the present life, no hope is there that we shall be freed from suffering and sorrow in the ocean of birth and death. Let us reverently take refuge in the three treasures of the truth. Namo mi davits. 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 Reverend uh, Laverne will be now reading the names of the Shotsky Hoyo for January. Uh, these are. Uh, family members or Sangha members who have passed away in the month of January. Before I read the names of the family members, um, what I would like for you to do, or I'd, I'd like to speak a little bit about the importance of Shotsky. This is a time for all of us to remember those who maybe sat in the chairs where you are sitting today. They were members of our temple. They are family members of current temple members. And they are the reason that all of us are here today. And so sometimes we come to these Shotsky Hoyo services and um, it's like just we're hearing names of people that we don't know. But these were people that supported this temple. These were people that supported our lives. And so as I reach, read each name, even though you might not have known the person, I'd like for you to be grateful because it's the reason that we're here today. So I'm going to read the names of the deceased um, and then their family member. Oh, go ahead. You wanna? Okay. Um, uh, family members are welcome to offer incense during the uh, reading of the names, and uh, all three of the burners. No, just the center. Just the center burner is lit. So please, uh, if you would like to, you can offer incense. Thank you, Nancy. Kotake Kondo, Ruth Voorhees. Mitsuko Kuwada, Kanji Kuwada. Sutematsu Iwata, Francis A. Burton. Tsunekichi Higuchi, Higuchi family. Jiro Niizawa, Norman Kiono. Chosaburo Yamashita, Emiko Yamashita. Bill Koga, Florence Koga. Matsuno Fujimoto, Amano family. Chiono Tomiyama, Tomiyama family. Hisaichi Taniguchi, Wilbur Takashima. Mitsuyoshi Shindo, Ochi family. Tei Ichiro Miyoshi, Miyoshi family. Usaburo Ito, Masako Nagata. Shokichi Kodama, Masako Ueji. Nobuo Hagio, Hagio family. 
Harue Okumura, Yamashita family. Shigeko Takeguchi, Takeguchi family. Satoru Hata, Hamada family. Masakichi Saito, Takashi Saito. Hashio Yonekura, Yonekura family. Toshiko Funaki, Funaki family. Sojiro Torimaru, Otsuka family. Kiyotaka Kusumoto, Yoshiko Kusumoto. Shinichi Kawamoto, Kawamoto family. Hisayo Ogawa, Steven, Steve Yagare. Hachiro Honda, Honda family. Moto Kobayashi, Wayne Takuya. Mitsutaro Shimizu, Miyoko Hashiguchi. Mitsuyo Urata, Urata family. Kuni Kawamoto, Kiku Koga. Sae Tsurudome, Mitsuo Tsurudome. Seki Kawasaki, Ohara family. Kiyo Muraoka, Yoko Shinohara. Ryu Yonekura, Yonekura family. Harry Pokio Matsumoto, Matsumoto family. Claude Holt, John Holt. John Konishi, Stephen Konishi. Nobuo Honda, Amy Honda. Ikuyo Takeshita, Takeshita family. Oshie Shimizu, Miyoko Hashiguchi. Shizuko Shimizu, Shimizu family. Shigeru Tabata, Takako Tabata. Setsuko Uchida, Kashima family. Noboru Nakara, Ted Nakara. Elaine Matsumoto Barrett, Matsumoto family. Masako Narahara, Mami Nakagawa. Frank T. Torio, Juliana M. Torio. Chieno Okuma Moribe, Lee Moribe. Tetsuyo Kashima, Jini Kashima. Frank Akira Kajita, Tim Kajita. Kesao Muraoka, Yoshiko Muraoka. Kyoko Santo Higashi, Kiku Graber. Haruko Iguchi, Iguchi family. George Furuya, George Furuya Jr. Yukiko Woodski, Woodski family. Mi Miwako Kosaka, Emi Kaleri, Kazumi Yamada, Carol Yamada, Robbie John Nishiguchi, Nishiguchi family, Seiji Saito, Ayako Saito, Takenori Ohara, Fumiko Ohara, Sumiko Kendall, Benny P. Kendall, Mitsuko Kodama, J. Kodama, Yoshiko N. Kusumoto, Chio Nakagawa, Sumiko Tsubakihara, Kent Tsubakihara, Harry Yamada, Yamada family, Kimie Fukamizu, Rochelle Carroll, Pro Takanori Nimura, Nimura family, Isen Iguchi, Iguchi family, Yoshinobu Sueyoshi, Annie Yumiko Christina, Os Osao Himaka, Lynn Fujigami, Mitsuru Amano, Mike Amano, Dorothy Matsumoto, Matsumoto family. Gary Yukio Kodama, Vivian Jones. Leonard Joseph Allison, Elizabeth D. Homa. Mitsuyo Mitsi Ota, Kenneth Ota. Mich Michiko Kazi, Robert Kazi. Toru Shiraishi, Shiraishi family. Masami Iwataki, Patricia Iwataki. Maria del Rufugio, Rufugio Gonzalez, Kovarubias family. Priscilla Ishizaki, Cheryl Ishizaki. Teruko Iwata, Francis A. Burton, and Jeffrey Akira Oto, Junko Oto. And anyone else who may have lost a loved one in the month of January is welcome to come up and do Oshoko. And anyone else who may have lost a loved one in the month of January is welcome to come up and do Oshoko.
Please join me in palms together, Nambuts Gasho. Namami Dabuts, Namami Dabuts, Namami Dabuts, Naman Dabuts, Naman Dabuts, Naman Thank you. We'll now be chanting the uh, sutra Juni Rai, can be found on page 24 in your Gatha book. Shokugyo Amida Senryo Zoku Song Zai Himi Meu Anrako Muryo Bushi Shu Ineu Konjiki Shinjo Nyo Senno Shama Tagyo Nyo Zobu Yo Moku Jo Nyaku Shorenge Koga Cho Rai Mida Song Nenzeng Enjo Nyo Mangat Iko Yu Nyo Sen Nichigat Shonyo tenku kushira Koga chorai mida song Kanon chodai kan chuju Shuju meu soho shogong Nobuku gedo make yumang Koga chorai mi da song Mubi muku ko shoujo Shutoku keu ketsu nyo koku Shosari yaku toku jizai Koga chorai mi da song Jippo myo monbo sashu Muryo shoma jyo sandang Isho shujo gandiki ju Koga chorai mida song Kontai ho kenchi shoke Zengon shoujo meu dai za Ohi za jo nyo sen no Koga cho rai mi da song Jippo sho rai shoubushi Kengen jinzu shi anrak Sengo songen yoku gyo Koga chorai mida song Shou mu jo mu gato Yaku nyo sui gatsu den yoro Ishu seppo mu myo ji Koga chorai mi da song Hi song bu setsu mu aku myo Yaku mu nyo nin aku dohu Shu nin shi shin kyo hi song Koga chorai mi da song Sommu ryo ho benkyo Mu shoshu akuchi shiki 
。お上夫大志望大、子が将来未だ損。仮説非損苦独自修善無変如海水小逆善言小上者Will everyone please rise for the recitation of the golden chain? It can be found on page ninety in your service book. I am a link in Amida's golden chain of love that stretches around the world. I will keep my link bright and strong. I will be kind and gentle to every living thing and protect all who are weaker than myself. I will think pure and beautiful thoughts, say pure and beautiful words, and do pure and beautiful deeds. May every link in Amida's golden chain of love be bright and strong. And may we all attain perfect peace. Namo Amidabits, Namo Amidabits, Namo Amidabits, Namo Amidabits, Namo Amidabits. Thank you. You may be seated. Okay, I'm going to be putting on my Dharma School hat. Uh, message hat. And in the meantime, if、uh, Dharma School students want to come up closer, I have a little bit of show and tell. Okay, can anyone guess what I am? An alien? Okay.、Um, okay, so yeah, maybe if I, I had a shell on my back and I was crawling along with one foot on the ground, you would know I was a snail. 
So that's what I'm trying to look like today. Okay. So who likes snails? Flynn, Tyler, Cassidy likes snails? Oh my goodness. Okay, that's good to know. Jaden likes snails too. So has, has anyone accidentally stepped on a snail? It's kind of yucky, huh? You go, yuck. But you, then you say, oh, sorry, now mommy doubles. Okay. And then have you seen a trail that a snail leaves uh, on the ground? Right. Huh. It, it's kind of like, kind of nasty, isn't it? A little bit nasty. But it, there's a purpose for all of that. And then have you thought about how strange a snail looks with his eyes up high? Yeah, and why it has a shell on its back. I don't know. Yes. So I didn't think much about them until my niece Jamie shared a book with me. And Jamie's a high school teacher, and she was also a Dharma school student, and she was a Dharma school teacher. So I, I um, you know, I value her recommendation very much. And uh, the book was called The Sound of a Wild Snail Eating, and it's a book by an author named Elizabeth Tova Bailey. And this uh, book, she wrote this book based on her life, her observations and the reflections from a time that she became very ill and mostly had to stay in bed, and not just for days, and not just for months, but for years, and she's still affected by her illness. And um, what happens is she's lying in bed, and friends would come and visit her, and one day a friend found a little snail in her garden and brought it to her. And the author makes a home for this snail, and then she begins to watch it. And she finds its actions um, very interesting. She watches how it eats, where it rests, how it moves. And then she even becomes attached to the snail. And even though she's not feeling well, she begins to read books and research about snails. Well, telling you everything about snails would, um, isn't possible in this talk. And like, do you know that snails have, can have up to 2,000 or more teeth? And they're in rows of 33. And that snails can live for several years, right, Cassidy? They can live up to four years, I think, right? I think. Um, so anyway, I brought this book. And if anyone's interested in reading it, they can, they're welcome to do so. And I also brought, uh, once I thought I'd uh, do this Dharma talk, I, I started collecting some snail shells. So you, I'm going to pass these around for you guys to look at. And I think I had some more, but one morning there were fewer than I thought I had. And I think what I did was I collected some that were just maybe sleeping. And they decided they did not want to be with me, and they crawled off. So, Arturo. So I looked up for a story to tell uh, the Dharma school students, and I found one about a, a story about a snail that was being bullied. But I didn't really like the way the snail uh, solved his problem uh, with other mean creatures. I didn't think uh, the way he dealt with people that were teasing him or being cruel was maybe the best solution to his problem. So I thought of Laverne Sensei's story about the two small children who were picked on their way to school and at school. And um, they learned to disarm the mean kids by being kind and saying thank you. So here's my reworked story about the snail that was being bullied. And I'm not a great artist, but I just came up with some photos, pictures here. So there once was a snail who lived in a garden. And he lived in a garden with many other insects, slugs and spiders and snails and other insects. And so this is, this is our snail. And these are some of the, 
the other animals that he lives with. Usually everyone got along well or were busy taking care of their own needs. But sometimes when one was bored or just in a bad mood, it would say mean, mean things and it was easy to pick on the snail. The usually busy honeybee looked at the snail and said, why, oops, here I go. Why are your eyes sticking out of, above your head? You look like a reject from a Marvel comic book. You look like an alien from space. Snail smiled and said, yes, thank you. So there's Snail, and there's his eyes up high. Just as your eyes, large eyes, help you find the most colorful flowers for you to collect pollen to take back to the hive, my eyes high on my head help me tell dark from light, and my tentacles help me find my way through the moss and leaf litter on the ground. Oh, said the bee. Then the caterpillar, who only cared about eating enough leaves to gather strength to form his chrysalis, felt like being mean. You only have one foot, and you leave a slimy trail wherever you go. That is so nasty. Thank you, Snail said. Yes, I have only one foot, unlike you who have so many legs. You can climb even the smallest stem to pick a succulent leaf and be able to hold on tight. My single foot and slimy trail helps me move slow and steady. I never fall and I can climb to the highest places if I need to. Oh, said the caterpillar. Oops. The butterfly, who usually spent its time visiting flowers to collect nectar to get to the, its strength to lay eggs, decided to join in. You are so ugly, just an ugly brown. And what is that silly shell you carry with you? Thank you, the snail said. I love your beautiful colors and the way your wings flutter in the wind. My color keeps me safe from predators, and my shell is my shelter. When I feel like sleeping, I go inside my shell. When it is too wet or too dry, too hot or too cold, my shell protects me. I carry my home wherever I go. Oh, said the butterfly. The bee, the caterpillar, and the butterfly had a better understanding of the snail and felt no benefit from being mean to him again. And the snail learned something about himself. Yes, I am different from the other garden creatures, but my differences can be strengths, and I know I can be resilient, continue to be positive, and grow in, st grow in spite of being teased and bullying, bullied. So there is an old Buddhist saying, a snail when it dies, dies in its home. It compares the snail to each one of us. It means that a person who has the three treasures, the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, always has a shelter and is always at home. Okay, so that's my Dharma message about the snail. I hope you learn to appreciate them. Them with, I'll share them with Miss Ann there, so she can see them. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, at this time, do we have any announcements? Do we have any announcements? Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> I'd like to thank uh, everybody who supported our recent uh, winter clothing donation drive. Thanks to the donations received from generous temple members and Dharma friends, we were able to deliver jackets, sweaters, and other warm clothing items to Streets of Hope, a nonprofit whose support efforts focus on those who live on the streets of San Diego. We uh, were able to deliver two carloads full of um, uh, warm clothing, like I said, jackets, sweaters, things like that, thick, thick um, socks. And we also de delivered uh, 60 warm hats that were knitted, knitted by Dharma Bum Temple volunteers through their Homeless Hats Project. So the Dana Group wishes to thank everyone who supported this drive, those that donated warm clothing, and volunteers who sorted items made deliveries to Streets of Hope, delivered yarn to Dharma Bomb Temple uh, to be turned into warm hats, and in general, helped in some way with this drive and other community outreach initiatives throughout the year. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, um, for the Dharma School students and teachers today, um, after this service, instead of regular Dharma School classes, we're going to be meeting in the annex on the stage because next week we are um, gonna be participating um, in a song performance during the Temple New Year luncheon party. Um, so if all the Dharma school students and teachers could come to the annex after this service and we will practice our songs. Thank you. Hi, I wasn't going to make this announcement again, but, uh, last week I mentioned that, uh, I volunteer for the Feral Cat Coalition and we've. Uh, every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, and some Sundays, we uh, spay or neuter uh, 30 to 40 cats. I mean, they, they even go out to Imperial Valley and uh, trap the uh, feral cats and bring them here, and then we return them to their colony. So it's not like we separate them from their uh, colony family. So... Um, we need towels, so I have a bin down in the lobby area um, that if you have any spare towels, not hand towels or um, washcloths, towels that we can cover the cage so the kitties, when they're trapped, that they're not scared. Um, so uh, that's my announcement. Thank you. Yeah, I don't see Ralph. Um or Luann today. So um, I'd like to just remind everybody, January 16th is a very significant day on the Jodo Shinshu calendar. And it's actually celebrated for the entire week. Um, it is Ho'onko. And we will be um, celebrating, commemorating Ho'onko next week, Sunday. Uh, Smitty Sensei will be uh, officiating at that service. So I hope that you will remember to attend. And then there is the temple urine party after that. So please join us. Um, I'd also like to make an announcement that our service on February 19th uh, is we had scheduled a very special BWA service uh, called Kisaragi, which commemorates the death uh, of uh, Lady Takeko Kujo who was the founder of the BWA. She was the sister, daughter and sister of um, two of our Gomonshu. Um, she also was very instrumental in, uh, she was a humanitarian. She was instrumental in um, organizing, founding one of the first hospitals in Japan. Um, so we'd like to honor uh, 
Lady Takeko Kujo, as well as um, past members of the BWA. So it's also a BWA memorial service. And we also have, are, we're going to be uh, commemorating uh, something else that's very unique and special to this temple. And that is that we have three individuals that have, had it not been for their time and effort, um, we would have a difficult time uh, doing services like this in person again. And even when we were remote, um, they, were, they were very active. And um, Bishop um, Marvin Harada is going to be here that day. He will be doing, delivering the Dharma talk. Um, and he also is going to be conferring um, the BCA certification for three of our minister's assistants. Um, be becoming a minister's assistant requires that um, you serve the temple, that, you've been, that you're invited to serve the temple by the resident minister. And at that time, it was Akahoshi Sensei, Kenji Akahoshi. So he invited them to become minister's assistants two years ago. Uh, Reverend uh, Gregory Gibbs um, continued uh, to accept them as minister's assistants for uh, Buddhist Temple of San Diego. They have also been enrolled in the two-year Jodo Shinshu Correspondence Course, and um, they have participated in services. What this means for our temple is that with the permission um, of Reverend Gibbs, our supervising minister, they will now, uh, as designated BCA certified minister's assistants, be able to join Smitty Sensei, Noriko Sensei, and myself on the Onaijin. So we will have more individuals. We've now doubled the numbers of um, people that can officiate services. Uh, those individuals, um, and I'm going to name them by alphabetically by their first name. Arturo, congratulations, Arturo Rubio. I think they're all here today, too. And Arturo um, not only chairs the uh, Donna program, has been very active in supporting our Donna program, but Arturo also, I don't know if, all, if any of you know this, but he, uh, Bishop Harada, does a weekly Dharma message on the phone for those people that cannot attend services in person. Um, Arturo has been asked to translate those uh, messages into Spanish. So um, if you ever want to go hear uh, uh, Marvin uh, Harada Sensei's message in Spanish, uh, that's Arturo's voice that you, you're going to hear. So we're very grateful and very proud that you're doing that. Um, the other individual is Sharon Sasaki. And Sharon is currently assistant superintendent of our Dharma school. Uh, she's been very instrumental in um, providing the Dharma school messages online, Zoom, uh, organized. And she also uh, tries to, it's like herding cats. Um, she tries to um, help us come up with our uh, weekly um, service planning calendar. There's a lot of moving parts. A lot of uh, requirements to put these services together, and she organizes us um, into an Excel spreadsheet. <laughs> um, and then the um, and then also Sharon um, is enrolled in the Institute of Buddhist Studies. Um, and then our third person, I think you've seen her because she's ever present here, is Yukari Williams. So Yukari has taken on the uh, coordination. Uh, with a lot of with a lot of help from Naomi Himaka, who's not really retired, <laughs> um, but she helps us put together our flowers for our services. Uh, and Yukari is uh, also she will be doing a, a Japanese message, Dharma message, and um, has done that over Zoom. Uh, she also has been very all three actually have been very instrumental in helping to set up the Onaijin before services and then also clean up the Onaijing after services. So I want to uh, give them an early congratulations, and I hope that you'll be able to join us. The BWA service is very moving, um, and uh, we will be also singing Seiya, so you guys can go home and practice Seiya. Um, and then at the end of the service, then we will, um, uh, Bishop Harada will uh, give these three individuals their cert certifications.
Thank you, Laverne Sensei. Uh, I did want to say, are there any guests joining us today for the first time? Okay, thank you. Will everyone pre please rise for the Gatha with grateful hearts? It can be found on page 151 in your service book. We have one. be seated. At this time, the Dharma School students are um, going to be excused to their activity in the annex, and please offer incense.
Thank you. Uh, Laverne Sensei will now lead us in the Vandana and T. Sarana. It can be find, found on page 96 in your service book. And as uh, Kenji Sensei used to ask, please join me uh, in chanting the entire Vandana, including the leader portion. Namo tasa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasa homage to him the exalted one the enlightened one the supremely awakened one. Buddham Saranam Gachami, Dhammam Saranam Gachami, Sangam Saranam Gachami. I go to the Buddha for guidance. I go to the Dharma for guidance. I go to the Sangha for guidance. Namo Kie Butsu. Namo Kie Ho. Namo Midabuts, Namo Midabuts, Namo Midabuts, Namandabuts, Namandabuts, Namandabuts. Thank you. Laverne Sensei will now uh, give us a, a Dharma message. Please join me in Gasho as I do this first reading. Is this on? Yes. Okay. I take refuge in Buddha. May we all together absorb into ourselves the principle of the way to enlightenment and awaken in ourselves our supreme will. I take refuge in Dharma. May we all together be submerged in the depth of the doctrine and gain wisdom as deep as the ocean. I take refuge in Sangha. May we all together become units in true accord in a life of harmony, in a spirit of universal brotherhood freed from the bondage of selfishness. Namo Midabits, Namo Midabits, Namandabits, Namandabits, Namandabits. So those are passages that are very familiar to you, and we recite them regularly at our service. So my theme today, the topic of my Dharma talk is the three treasures, the three refuges. Um, as many of you know, I, I was not raised Jodo Shinshu. I was not raised Buddhist. I was actually raised in a Judeo-Christian um, tradition. Um, and I encountered, very fortunately, I encountered Buddhism gosh, about 15 years ago now in Seattle. And um, I heard a message that was relayed by um, my first teacher, Reverend um, Don Castro in Seattle. And they were words, it was a message I needed to hear at that time. My, my life was a, a little bit in disarray and I needed some words of hope. I needed some words of guidance. And so I find myself very fortunate. I find myself very lucky and very grateful for hearing the words when I did. Um, from Seattle, I moved to Northern Virginia, where I was again really lucky because there was a Jodo Shinshu temple in Fairfax County, not too far from where I lived in Northern Virginia. 
And um, while I was there, there were a small temple um, and a relatively new temple. In fact, I read um, online, I still get their communications, and Bishop Harada is going to be there to do their Kiyoshiki service to today. But um, it was a wonderful sangha, not very big, um, but mm, we used to um, get, I'd say, between 60 and 70 people. Most of the folks um, in that sangha did not grow up uh, in the Buddhist tradition, but the temple itself was founded by some people who grew up as Buddhist, and they uh, migrated into the DC area for jobs. And so they were there, they raised their children, and they wanted their children to hear the Dharma. So they founded a Dharma school, which eventually became uh, a temple that was, um, and I think their first minister was um, Bishop, and I uh, um, can't remember his name now, Brain Fog. Um, but uh, it, it was a lovely, um, very modern, it wasn't very traditional like this, but pretty modern. Bishop Tsuji, I'm sorry, I couldn't remember his name. Um, and again, a very small sangha. They did not have the legacy of membership. They didn't have families, you know, there that actually built the the temple and and served the temple for two, three, four generations. Like this temple is really lucky to have. Um, and so, if you were a new person, if you were into the Dharma, um, you got um, roped in. I was going to say sucked in, but. You got roped into helping where where they needed help, and so after I was there a total of I think it was six years, and after I'd been there two years, and I came in as a minister's assistant, which is where what I started in Seattle. Um, so uh, I was asked to then serve on the board, and to be on the religious committee. So I did that. I thought, oh, I can do this, you know. Um, it was religious education. It was helping put together the services and such. And then after a couple of years doing that, uh, our temple president moved back to Los Angeles, and <laughs> they needed a temple president. So guess who got voted to be temple president? I'd never done anything like that before. Um, and I will say now that uh, if you're not aware, um, and there I see board members here, it's not an easy position to be in. Uh, sometimes you serve on the board and you think, why, why am I doing this? <laughs> it's difficult. It's difficult because you're dealing with people, right? Um, so I have a tremendous amount of gratitude and respect for those people in our Sangha that are serving this temple as a board member. Um, there was some major conflict while I was serving as board president to the point where I was ready to leave. Not just Ekoji, not, not just the board, not just Ekoji, but I was ready to step away from Jodo Shinju Buddhism. Um, I thought, at that time going in, I thought, you know, okay, it's all about the Dharma. Focus on the Dharma, Laverne. You know, we, we didn't have a minister at that time. Um, we didn't have what I would call that leadership position in a temple, which is kind of where we at BTSD are today. Um, and the Sangha was kind of in disarray. Uh, we were very divided. It's, it's kind of like, anybody watch the um, congressional hearings, the House of Representatives? I was following that like crazy. I mean, I was I was a bit obsessed with that. So I had C-SPAN on um, as I was working and you know as I was fixing dinner. Um, that kind of disarray. There was um, div divisiveness in some of our approaches, but not only that, there was just a meanness that people were just not treating each other very well. And so I I would vent to my daughter. And my daughter would say to me, Mom, I thought you guys were all Buddhists, right? Um, I said, yeah, but you know, I, I had to really step away and say, why am I doing this? Why am I here? This, it's just not about, it's not about the Dharma, just about the Dharma. It's not just about our, our teacher. 
it's not just about the Sangha. That's where it hit me. That's where it really hit me, that it's all three. It's all three. And the impermanence piece of it for me was that I had to tell myself, this too shall pass. You know, whatever disarray we were in, we'll figure it out. And, and it did. They, are, they have a very good leadership. They still struggle financially, you know, but they have great leadership. Uh, they are, again, they're in business today, right? They don't have, they, and they haven't had for about six months now. They haven't had a minister. They were lucky to have a minister until six months ago. But I do know that Bishop Harada, again, is there today doing a kishki service um, for the members, which tells me that there are people that want to be part of that sangha, be part of not just the Ekoji sangha, but the larger Jodo Shinshu sangha. So I digressed with my personal story, but I just want to also bring us all back to why are we here? You know, I've asked the question before. What brings you here? Is it because you grew up in Jodo Shinshu Buddhism? Is it because your family was instrumental in building this place? Um, and I also want to address the people that are online. You know, what brings you back to streaming us? Um, is it for the teacher? Um, we don't have a resident minister right now. And so this temple has to rely on the likes of myself, Smitty Sensei, uh, Noriko Sensei, and then our three brand new certified minister's assistants um, to hopefully deliver messages that will resonate within your own hearts. Um, but we also come because we want to hear the words of our teachers, right? And that would be Shakyamuni Buddha, that would be Shindan Shonin, the seven masters. So the teachers, even though they may not physically be here, are still in our presence, hopefully through the Dharma talks that some of us bring. I take refuge in the Dharma. Those are the teachings, right? The universal truths. Um, those of you, and I'm going to, I don't know where, which camera I'm looking at to address the people at home, but some of you may be what they call nightstand Buddhists. That's how I started out, is I started reading books on Buddhism, and uh, they gave me words and teachings that I needed to hear. Um, but I will tell you, for me, at that time, I thought that was enough. I didn't think I needed to go seek out a temple, a teacher, or a sangha anywhere. But I want to bring us now to that third treasure, and that is the sangha. Okay? So we can get teachings. We can go online now, and you can go listen to a Dharma teacher. You can read a book. But unless you are here in the temple, physically with others. I don't personally, I have learned, especially after COVID, I don't know that you, we can get, I can get the full benefit of the Sangha, the teaching of the Sangha. The Sangha is my mirror. And even though there may be conflicts, possibly, I still think that those people that challenge me the most are my bodhisattvas. Because what that person does who challenges me, I could get mad. I mean, that's like our immediate reaction. Somebody, somebody challenge you, challenges you, what's the easy reaction? Easy reaction is to get frustrated, to get mad, right? The harder reaction is to say, wait a minute, stop. Let me reflect. Well, how am I reflecting to this person, maybe possibly, to irritate them or to make them mad. That's where, for me, the Sangha is such an important teacher, is such an important part 
of our gifts, our three treasures. And so, again, I don't know where I'm looking at people on camera. Come join us. Come join us and have this interaction because I think that we need all three. So please um, maybe open your books to page 91 and read with me the three refuges. I take refuge in Buddha. May we all, and you can read along with me. I'll give you a chance to get to that page maybe. Page 91, okay? I take refuge in Buddha. May we all together absorb into ourselves the principle of your way to enlightenment and awaken in ourselves our supreme will. I take refuge in Dharma. May we all together be submerged in the depth of the doctrine and gain wisdom as deep as the ocean. I take refuge in Sangha. May we all together become units in true accord in your life of harmony in a spirit of universal brotherhood freed from the bondage of selfishness. Namo Amidabits, Namo Amidabits, Namo Amidabits. And I want to close by, again, thanking all of you. Um, many, many familiar faces week to week. Um, and I also want to encourage all of you, both those here in person and online, to please, you know, if we're not delivering to you what you need spiritually, socially, otherwise, please let us know because we don't know unless you tell us. Okay, it's, it's, my, it's my thing uh, that I share with my granddaughters about bad breath. If, somebody tell, if you have bad breath, right, and nobody tells you you have bad breath, you don't know you have bad breath. <laughs> and so please, um, I think that our temple leadership is very open to suggestions. Um, and I know that the um, uh, MA group also is very open to suggestions. So if you have any kind of uh, feedback that you'd like to give to us, but you've been holding on to, please do not be shy and please share it with us. Thank you very much. Namo Amidabits, Namo Amidabits, Namo Amidabits, Namo Amidabits. Thank you, Laverne Sensei, for your message on the three treasures. Would you please rise for the Gatha Ondoksan 2, which is found on page 128 of your service book. Namam Dabs, Namam Dabs, Namam Dabs, Namam Dabs. Thank you. Please be seated. We'll have a closing meditation. A snail, when it dies, dies in its home. We are like the snail. We had the shelter of the three treasures, the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We will die in our home.
Namo Amida Buts, Namo Amida Buts, Namo Amida Buts, Namo Amida Buts, Namo Amida Buts. Thank you everyone for attending today's service. Um, thank you to Laverne Sensei for officiating and for a Dharma message. Uh, thank you to Yukari and to Arturo for setting up the Onai Jean, to Brevin for playing the Kancho, for Ann Ong for being our musician for the day, our tech team, uh, Bill, Brevin, and Ken, and anyone else that I might have missed, I'm sorry. Um, you are uh, welcome to offer incense and please enjoy the rest of the day. Yukari Williams will be providing a Japanese message. For, uh, those would, who would like to hear the message in uh, Nihongo, please remain in the hondo. Sorry. Yes, yes. I, I, I messed up. I missed a lot of things. それでは、えー、日本語本を始めますので、えー、どうぞこちらにおいでください前の方にいらしてください。それでは皆様、えー、合唱と礼拝をお願いいたします。奇妙無料寿如来、名も不可思議公、限りない命の如来に奇妙し、思い計ることのできない光の如来に聞いたてまつる、生阿弥陀仏、生阿弥陀仏、生阿弥陀仏。ありがとうございます、えー、皆様おはようございます明けましておめでとうございます<笑>今年もどうぞよろしくお願いいたします、えー、ただいま読みましたのは親鸞承人が書かれた、えー、昇進下の初めの部分です親鸞上人が、えー、阿弥陀如来からの信心の告白と願いをおっしゃっています
え今日私が親鸞上人の「昇進家」を読んだのはえ来週の日曜日1月15日はサンディエゴ仏教会では法音校の法要があるからです。えー、法音校は親鸞上人の命日にちなむ浄土真宗で最も重要な法要です。親鸞上人の見教えに感謝するため日本中アメリカ中のみならず世界中の真宗のお寺でこの法要は行われます。親鸞上人が往生されたのは、旧暦の11月28日で、旧暦でお勤めされる宗派と、新暦に換算した1月16日に、お勤めする宗派がありますえサンディエゴでは新歴で法音校の法要をしますそ,うそれがちょうどえ11月11月じゃない1月15日が亡くなったあ1月16日が親鸞上人のえご命日ですけれども来週の1月の15日にサンディエゴでは法音化をいたします、えー、それでは、えー、法音校にちなみまして親鸞、えー、上人の、えー、代表作の「昇進家」についてお話しします。来週の法音校でもあの来週の法音校で「新種」あ「昇進家」をみんなで、えー、お唱えするそうです、えー、正式名を「念仏昇進家」と言います、えー、蓮如上人が、えー、昇進家を朝夕の務めに用いるよう制,あ制定されましたので皆さんには馴染みの深いものになったのだと思います。昇進家には、阿弥陀如来の教えに従うことを勧め、すべての人が阿弥陀如来の救いに預かってほしいという親鸞上人の願いが、込められています「昇進家」にはあ「昇進家」は大きく三段に分かれています。先ほど読みました「奇妙無量寿如来」「名も不可思議公」は最初の段で阿弥陀様からいただいた信心について述べてあります次の段は阿弥陀如来と釈尊の徳を称えられています。最後の段は浄土の教えを研究なさった七人のお坊様のことが述べてあります。この浄土真宗の七構想はインドから2人中国から3人日本から2人おいでになり浄土真宗の教えを伝えてくださいましたパンデミックの間毎週の土曜日何人かのお寺のメンバーがえズームで集まって昇進家のお勤めをしましまたお寺にはあの頃パンデミックのために来ることはできませんでしたがみんなでズームで
昇進芸をお務めしたのはとても楽しかった思い出です今では日曜礼拝の前に本堂に集まって昇進芸をお務めできるようになったのでとても嬉しいですえ今日は保温校と昇進芸のお話をしました親鸞上人が昇進芸や他のいろいろな書物を残しておく残してくださったおかげで私たちは阿弥陀仏の教えを知ることができたことに感謝して来週の法恩校に臨みましょうそれではもう一度合唱と礼拝でお話を終わりにします。限りない命の如来に起妙し思い計ることのできない光の如来に木いたてまつる生阿弥陀仏生阿弥陀仏生阿弥陀仏,陀仏今日は私の話を聞いてくださいましてどうもありがとうございました、えー、来週本校の法要でお会いしましょうありがとうございました。